Okay, the other one, as I alluded to earlier, that they like to sort of trip you up with, or that can sound a lot like aortic stenosis, is hypertrophic obstructive car cardiomyopathy, which we've already talked about a little bit. This is going to be young athletes. Okay, other people can get it as well, but the prototypical patient, if you see a young, you know, young athlete presenting with, think, or passes out a basketball, it's classic for, uh, for hokum. They usually present with dyspnea, chest pain, syncope. There may also be another clue of uh, family history of sudden death, because this is a um, uh, hereditary condition. On exam, you're going to hear that familiar crescendo, decrescendo systolic murmur. The clue, or the nice distinction between it and AS is that it's not going to have any radiation. There will not be radiation to the neck or clavicle. You might also hear an S4 gallop in this, just as you would with AS for the same reason. You get hypertrophic or you get um, concentric hypertrophy. And uh, the other distinguishing characteristic is that the carotid upstroke is going to be brisk, whereas in AS it's going to be weak. So that's a, that's a big clue. And then they love to give you the uh, sort of maneuver with hokum, and we already talked about this. So with maneuvers that increase blood volume to the left side of the heart, you're going to get a decrease in the intensity of the murmur, which is unlike all other murmurs, except for MVP, although we talked about that being a misconception. And then uh, the intensity is going to increase with reduced blood flow. It's the only, pretty much, if you see a murmur that's similar to AS, but it does the opposite of what you'd expect with these maneuvers, then think hokum. And then you might also see LVH, LAD, and prominent Q waves on EKG. Management, you only really treat hokum if it's symptomatic. Um, pharmacologic treatment, you're really just trying to improve diastolic filling time, so it's beta blockers or verapamil. I'm not sure why verapamil is the calcium channel blocker of choice, but it is. And so those two, you think about those two for hokum. And then in patients who are still having symptoms despite medical therapy, uh, you think about non-pharmacologic treatment, and the two options would be surgery, um, a myectomy procedure, or alcohol septal ablation. So alcohol is kind of toxic to the myocytes, so they go in there and they squirt some alcohol along the septum, and then that basically causes it to melt away a little bit, and so it relieves that outflow tract obstruction. Make sense? Any questions about Okay.